In this video, we're going to look at transforming and recoding variables using the program SPSS. Okay, and I've already got SPSS open. I've got the GSS General Social Survey 2010 data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be identifying and transforming three variables so that I can create an index called confidence in government. And the three variables I'll be transforming, I'll show you if I go to transform recode into different variables and I want to find vi the variables called confidence in the executive branch confidence in the United States Supreme Court and confidence in Congress okay and now I'm gonna give these all I'm gonna be recoding these into a new variable and so this one will be uh, confed new I'm going to change that this one will be con judge new I'm going to change that and this one will be you guessed it con legis new okay so basically just putting the word new on the end of the old variable name and now I need to specify the old and new values okay so in this case uh, the way these variables are coded, a 3 means a person has very little confidence, and a 1 means they have a great deal of confidence, and 2 is neutral. So I want to reverse it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 3, which is little confidence, become 1. Okay, so I'll put 3 as the old value, 1 as the new value, and then I'll add that. 2, because it's a middle value, remains the same, so I'll, I'll keep that the way it is. And a 1, which used to mean a great deal of confidence, uh, will now be a 3, meaning a great deal of confidence, so that the higher number means more confidence in the way that we're recoding this. And the last step is always all other values system missing, just in case there are uh, some, val some cases that are not coded as 1, 2, or 3. And this looks like else becomes sys miss, system missing. And we'll click Continue. Okay, and then we'll go through these. These all should be the same now. We're recoding all three of these at once, so I don't have to go through and plug in the same old and new values for each of these. Since they're all coded the same way, they're all going to be recoded the same way, so we're all done. We'll just click OK. And nothing remarkable happens. You just see the syntax generated in the output window. And you see this syntax here is what we did. Recode confed, con judge, and con legis, where 3 becomes 1, 2 becomes 2, and 1 becomes 3, and everything else is missing. And these are recoded into the new variables, confed new, con judge new, and con legis new. You see that corresponds to these three over here. Now you don't need to know the syntax, but it doesn't hurt to, to know what you're looking at here. So how do you know if it worked? Well, you need to go to the data set, actually, uh, the data view. You're looking at the output window. You need to look at the the variable view, and if you scroll down to the bottom in variable view, you should see the three new variables here, confed new, con judge new, and con legis new. And if you look at data view, you should see, if you scroll all the way to the right, uh, a bunch of ones and threes. And uh, these, these missing ones are where the, the variables were not coded, one, two, or three. All right. Now we're going to compute an index which adds these three together. So. Currently, a 3 in confed new means that somebody is extremely confident in the federal government. Here, a 3 means for con judge new that somebody is extremely confident in the Supreme Court. And for con legis new, if somebody gets a 3, it means they're extremely confident in, in the legislature, in Congress. So if we add these three together, we're going to create a variable called confidence in government. All right? And we're going to do that by doing transform compute variable. We're going to create a new variable called congov and index, just so we know that we're making this. And we're going to find the three variables we recoded, and we're going to add them together. Okay, so we're just selecting them, moving them over, adding them together. Okay, so it should say confed new plus con judge new plus con legis new, and that's going to equal this new index, congov index. Click OK, and again, we just get some syntax. It shows you the syntax for what we did. 
compute congov index equals those three variables. If you go back to the the variable view, we can see that congov index is here. If we want, we can give this a label. Confidence in government index. We can also label the other ones if we want. I'm just going to skip over that. If you go to data view, you should scroll over to the right. And now you're going to see uh, anything that ranges from 3 to 9. And a 3 would be 1 plus 1 plus 1. Uh, a 9 would be 3 plus 3 plus 3, which would mean high level of confidence in all the branches of government. So 3 is the lowest value. That would mean here uh, this person had little confidence in all the branches of government. Right? So at this point, I like to do a descriptive analysis of the new variables, analyze descriptive statistics, scroll down and select those, both the recoded variables and the index we created. I'm going to also create uh, a chart there. So, uh, oh, I'm in, uh, yeah, we don't get a chart if we do it this way. How about we go to the f analyze descriptives frequencies instead of descriptives? That way we can create a chart. And we'll move that over. We'll choose a bar chart. Pie chart would be fine. And then you want to do percentages. Okay, we'll do continue. And then we'll click OK. And what we'll see are the variables we recoded, both a frequency table and an associated chart. And this is in percentages. So now we can see uh, when it comes to confidence in the, the federal government, the executive branch, we click that. Uh, I like to show the data labels by double clicking and choosing that option. Let me close out of that. And we see that about most people are in the middle. Uh, very few people have a great deal of confidence in the executive branch, and much more have very little confidence there. When it comes to the Supreme Court, again, most people are in the middle. Uh, let's get a percentage, though, by including that. Show data labels. Close that. And so we see about 30% have a great deal of confidence in the Supreme Court, much better than the executive branch or the presidency and its cabinet. And then the last one, con legis, has to do with Congress. And again, we'll show the data labels to see the percentages. And look, this is quite horrible. Only six, eight, eight, little over 8% are extremely confident in our Congress. Not very good for them. Uh, this is 2010 data. Equal number are either indifferent or opposed, you know, very little confidence. And this is when we add them together, we, we generate this thing we're calling the uh, Confidence in Government Index, which is a composite of all three branches, right, added together. And we see most people fall in the middle. Uh, very small percentage have a high level of confidence in all three branches. It's only 3% there. And uh, certainly a greater share of the population has less confidence in government overall. Uh, but most people fall in the middle. And that concludes our discussion.